okay but one of the problem is let's say even though I'm coming from Brazil I wanna see the English version so how can you do that is the user supposed to change his preference all the time so this can be boring the user will not the users they will not like that right so we can make it easy adding some buttons so the user can choose in what which version he wants to see the website so let's just create this let's put some height 30 the width if we can use 40 the image we can use Brazil and the post back URL it's gonna be the default page and let's put a carry string language equal pt slash pr okay and let's add another one for the Canada version let's change for english.ca okay uh, so what we need to do now is go to the code and we need to override the method that tells the framework which language to use so Visual Studio helps a lot here you just need to initialize protect override initialize culture and it creates for us so let's just make sure we're not gonna have any problems on our code so let's just check if uh, it's different from null okay then you need to add the thread so you need to use to add the using system of threading just to do this for you so current thread dot current culture receives new culture info so as you can see it's pretty easy you don't, as long as you understand the idea it's okay so then we can just copy and paste from here and dot to string close close we also need to change the UI inter uh, interface which means the user interface so that's it two lines of code you can save and if you run the web website now the user can always go to the default version but it can change by itself going to the Brazilian version the English version so it's much better than just changing the settings in the browser, okay? Uh, but then you can ask, okay, but the user can change that. Everything is, but everything is static. What about, can I do this by the code? Can I do this dynamically? Yes, you can. Let's just, I'm gonna show you. Let's just add a label here. We don't need any tag so far. And let's call LBL message, okay? So we want to show what we're going to show. Let's say the title, the title of the page. Okay. So we can just go to the code and LBL message dot text receive. You have this get local resource object which requests the resource key. So this is an another time I will make sure to tell you guys make sure everything you type is properly. Why? If you do any misspell here. This the co compiler will not know that you did something wrong and will not show any mistake but when you run the application it will not show properly okay so be careful with that so you see here now we have the same title dynamic shown here but then you, you definitely can notice that everything we done so far it's this scope is by, by each page so if you have 20 page you will need to do that for the all the 20 pages right so one other thing you have is the global resource which is shared by all the pages so if you have like a message or whatever you want to show in all the pages you can definitely add the global resources okay so then we can add a resource file let's just call my messages because this is for the whole application you don't need to put the name of a page or something okay so let's just call welcome message like hello Canada okay we can save you can copy and paste it's the same idea as, as the localization dot pt slash pr from Brazil dot you can open and change hola Brazil 
pretty much that's it. So now if we go to the cold oops. You go LBL message dot text receive now you have the get global. But to get global we also request the class name because you can have more than one. So we have to put my messages. Okay. And then common and the one the thing you want, the resource key you want. So welcome message to string. So if you run the application now you will see the message. Hello Canada. Hola Brazil by code. But as you can see in this both solutions that I showed you, like it's really hard to make sure everything is proper, like because you're setting strings everywhere, so if you mistype something it will not the compiler there's no way he can help you it can help you. So the best solution that we think is this one. You can use type safe, which is the best one. So you will know that you're doing something right or wrong right away. So you need to add the using resources and then you have the welcome message here. So what it does, the global resource, it will create this resource as a class and everything that has inside will be created as properties. So you can get as normal string here. So now if you do s something wrong, the compiler will tell you and you will notice that you can accomplish the same task and you can get the same result in a much nicer way, right? So now you will make sure everything in your site will run perfectly. So pretty much that's it. That's all. It was always all that I wanted to show you guys. Thank you very much. I'm really willing for a feedback from you so I can get better. I hope I will talk to you guys soon. Thank you very much. Bye bye.